What is in the sky everyone, my name is Lazmalan and welcome back to the Sea of Glomp. So in the last episode we ended when I told you guys that uh, there is actually a way to get that crab out of there if he's haunting the place where the key is. And um, I think this stone that we have here right now, it used to not be here, something else used to be here, I think it was a sword. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, I thought it was a crab for a second, and I was so scared, it came right at me, but it was just a bat who decided to bring me a bone and uh, not even give it to me then. Ah, like, come on, throw me a bone. But I guess the bat has got a bone to pick with me. Okay, um, I'll stop, I'll stop. In any case, that, so that uh, stone, the, that rock, the blue thing that we have there, is not actually gonna help us much. So, uh, Perhaps we're not gonna be able to get that crab out of there for a while if the crab is even there right now. The first thing we do in this episode is go check if the crab is there. Uh, and let's see if I remember the quickest way to get here. If I do, then I might not even have to cut anything. Yes, I do. Good. It's a very quick way to get into that place. And then, once we're there, we're gonna see if the crab is still haunting the place. Chances are he is. Chances are the crab is still here. Yep. Absolutely is. So... There is a way to get him. Wait, wait! Where is the key? Was there even a key here? Where's the blue key? Did the bat? Oh my goodness, the bat stole the blue key. Now we don't even have that. <clears throat> this is a point I mean, I'm actually gonna cut out a lot of things and pause until I get into places because you guys have at this point seen the all basically all of these locations. So we're going to just. We're gonna. I'm not gonna show you a lot of wandering around. We'll we'll make sure to actually have progress. Uh, but first of all, I'm going into this fish just to see if I can perhaps find something here, something that's going to help us. For example, is there anything here that we're gonna need? No, just a toy shovel and a crab. And I'm kind of glad the crab is guarding the toy shovel because we don't need it and the crab is gonna be there, which means he's not gonna be in other places where we actually need to go. However, the problem is the bat might at some point replace the toy shovel with something we actually do need. And, uh, oh, that was close. And then we're not going to be able to get it uh, because the crab is there. But, as I said, there are ways to get crabs away from where we need to go. And you probably already kind of know what those ways are. Let's see if anything is here. Oh, that's a magnet. I don't think we've seen that before. It's useful, but the crab is here guarding it, which is not a very good thing because uh, we can't get it until we have some way to get the crab away from there. So at this point, I'm going to pause until we get somewhere and uh, figure out our course of action. So see you then. So when I said the blue key was stolen, I kind of forgot that I actually put it in this chest so exactly so that it doesn't get stolen. I thought the key used to be where the crab was. So we actually do have the blue key, which makes things better a great deal. But uh, the problem about that is uh, the crab is still there, so we can't reasonably get to the chest. Which means, again, I'll uh, see you after we have some way of dealing with that or find something else that is interesting. And look, now it's a fishbone here. <laughs> like, this keeps changing because of the bat. But this actually gives me some ideas for where I might be able to look. Alright, I went over here, in this location where we can't really get because of the trees. Uh, I don't know what this is, I don't think it's useful. I really don't think so. It might be, but I definitely haven't, I've never really found a use for it before. So this is out the window, I guess. Okay, another heart. I actually want to get that. Even though it's not necessary, <laughs> I think it's gonna help. So, I'll show you how to get this card, because I mean, if, if we uh, if we go over here... There's this tree, uh, this rock is here now, weird. But we can't get through it, and now we can't get down here because of our wings. There is actually a way to get here, and I will show that to you very, very soon. So, remember this lovely place? We actually... We actually were here to open this chest, and I think we found that uh, 
horizontal tunnel thing in it. I also put the blue key there, but I actually went and moved the blue key over to my home chest just so it's easier to get. And now we're gonna get this horizontal thing and um, try to get out of here alive. Uh, I guess the main risk when carrying objects is that when we get hurt, we lose the objects and like, if the circumstances are unfortunate enough, it's, uh, ouch, we actually, but I mean, I don't need to go there anyway, I just need to go here, I think, so that's good, but yeah, see, I got hurt, and uh, I lost the tunnel, so I had to go back and get it, and under the wrong circumstances, I wouldn't be able to go get it, and so I would lose the object and have to use some tricks to get it, thankfully those tricks do exist, but right now, that's not what we're here for, we're here, uh, to get the tunnel thing, and I'll show you what we can do with it over at that location, do you know which one? Um, okay, the, the bat keeps trying to throw me a bone, and I appreciate it, but like... We've seen this bone already, okay, uh, I'm starting to get really familiar with uh, how to get places in this maze, which I guess is expected, but like... Even more familiar than I have ever been playing this game, so... Let's see if we can do this. So, it says use at your own risk. Now we're gonna try to do that. So this thing, if you haven't yet figured what it does, we put it like this as the tunnel and we can teleport through solid objects. This is how we get to this location and I wanna pick up this heart, which will then be useful to us because it will take longer for us to die. And then this thing, I don't think it's useful. I'll put it here just so that the flying fish, the flying me later when I have wings, can go and get it, if anything. But I don't know what it's used for, I don't, it might not be used for anything, really. The main reason I came here was for that third life. And now I have three lives. I'm one third of the way to being a cat, so... At this point we can just go back to our home location, because I want to keep the tunnel... Every oh, and also there's a portal there, I wonder if there's a way for us to... Uh, I wonder if there is a way for us to get there when we're flying. I don't think so, though, because, uh, well, I don't think so. Now, is there a way we can sort of uh, trick things here? Like, for example, I, now I don't have to go up there uh, because I can just move through this and re-merge on this side, which is, it hardly saved any time at all, but it's just fun. It's fun. Now we'll heal up on these bubbles and... Put the thing here with the two of our keys. What do we do next? I think we should go up in the sky, and I'm sure that at least one of the keyholes there, of the locks, is going to be red or blue. And uh, I might take one of these keys just uh, to make a guess. For example, I think I'm gonna need a red key in the sky, because we already used the blue key for some things, I think. We're gonna need a red key in the sky. It will be... I will regret it if I end up losing it to a crab or something. But let's hope not. We are now going to go up to the sky. And we might also need that uh, horizontal te teleport thingy. But... I don't think we will. I hope we won't. Uh, I'm gonna put the key here so that I can later get it when I'm flying. Alright. Uh, let's get the key. I don't think I can get hurt in these mines like that. Yeah, good. Uh, we get the key, and now we go into the sky. Uh, I forgot how to get here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's not actually that complicated. It's just, even if you have to guess how to get here, it doesn't take long for you to guess. All right. Uh, hello, butterfly. Is there a crab? No crab right now. There might be crabs at other parts of this area, though. If, if one of the crabs is haunting the insides of that fish, uh, where the magnet is, and the other crab is haunting that place that uh, lets us get to the uh, blue treasure chest, then there might be one crab here. Either one crab or no crabs. So let's see, what is the color of the gate? Green. I don't have the green key, but at least it's not blue, because if it had been blue, that would just mean that I guessed incorrectly, as far as the locks go. Uh, how about the treasure chest, though? There's a spoon, I don't care about it. Oh my goodness, everything is green. That means that it might have been a mistake trying to bring the uh, red key here, because there's nothing here that we can really use. Okay, how about this place, though? There might be a crab. Ooh! There's no crab, but there is something better than a crab. 
Well, anything is better than a crab, really. The crabs are the worst thing in this game, but uh, there is something better than uh, if something... Like, if there was some instrument we needed that was being guarded by a crab, we wouldn't have been able to get it, but we have a sword. Bear with me, I need to bring the key back to safety, and then I'll go back for the sword. I'm gonna pause so you don't have to see that part, but the sword is actually useful. Alright, so I have brought... I am recording, right? Yes, I have brought the red key back into our home place. I've also went and brought the black controller thing that I... Oh, no, 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 no! No, no! You took the sword! You stupid, overgrown bat! Granted, I am also overgrown. We, we, we saw how big I am compared to humans, but darn! I was just about... Give me that! Give me that! Like, see, it's not gonna go anywhere until I move, but once I move, there's no way for me to get that sword. I was just about to say, let's see if the sword is still there. Darn! And probably replaced it with something useless. No! No, no, this is better than the sword. This, this is better than the sword. This is absolutely amazing. Wow. What just happened? This is a magnet. As you can see, things are attracted to it. This is so much better than the sword. Sadly, the sword isn't attracted to it when the bat is carrying it, but, like, look! Sword and magnet are two things that we need, and the magnet we actually need more than the sword. So, you know what? I was, I was gonna be mad about the fact that the bat stole the sword, but this is better than the sword. The place where we previously saw the magnet was the place where uh, it was guarded by a crab, so we wouldn't have been able to get it unless we had the sword. So, in a way, the bat just helped us with a shortcut. It said, the bat said this, basically. It said, okay, you wanted to get the sword so that you could go scare away the crab and get the magnet. Well, how about you just get the magnet? I'm gonna skip this step for you. And that's actually pretty darn good. I want the magnet. The thing is, I also do want the sword to scare away that other crab to get to the uh, treasure chest. Yes, I... Uh, I kind of spoiled it, but I think I already mentioned it before, that the purpose of these swords is to scare away crabs. Uh, they're not gonna attack us if we have the sword. But the thing is, um, darn it, this place is so easy to get lost in, like, uh, where am I right now? It's like a maze, but we don't really see the walls of it. Where am I right now? I'm just stuck here. <laughs> I'm gonna find my way out of here eventually. Oh, good, 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 okay. From here, I think I go here, and then here. Good! Ah! Ooh, what is that? Ooh, it was hidden under the cloud. Now, I don't think this is useful. I don't think it does anything we need, but the fact that it was hidden under the cloud is actually pretty cool. So, we got the magnet. We still kind of want the sword for that treasure chest. But, uh... I think that once we get that treasure chest, I think what it's going to have is uh, the green key. It has to, basically. Because there are so many things that we need the green key for. We need it for both of the things in the sky, and we need it for... Uh... Okay, this is just not gonna work. We also need it for that treasure chest here in our home location. Oh, come on. At least this way I can get it. Yeah, because damage isn't really bad for me right now. I have three hearts. Now, is there anything we need the magnet for? I remember that in the insides of the fish, there was a, like a fish skeleton that we can get to get an extra life. But notice I already have six lives. In this playthrough, this is the easy mode thing. I have not lost a single life, and I realize now that uh, it might not be the damage that is affected by the uh, by the difficulty, I think it's just the number of lives that is affected, but this time I'm not losing any lives because I'm being smarter about everything. Okay, we have the cigar, don't really care about the cigar though. We have that, see, that is the thing we really need to get because I think we're gonna get the green key there. That's like the only logical thing. But to scare away that crab, we need the sword. And I think... What we have to do right now is wait for the bat to exchange the sword for something different. Then we'll get the sword using the magnet maybe, or maybe we won't even need the magnet. It's possible. And after that... 
we are going to... Wait, I'm in the tunnel. I, I, it's not the insides of the... It's not the tunnel I need to go to. It's the insides of the fish. I just realized that. But yeah, after we get the sword, we're gonna use it to scare away that... Uh, red crab. Then open that treasure chest. There we'll probably get the green key, and then we'll open the three things that we need, we can open with it. Now this thing right here is the it's a watch. If that was something we needed, this would be our way to get it. We would have used the magnet to attract that thing so we don't have to go on the lava. But we don't need the watch. The only reason we might need to go back there is the, if the bat goes in there and replace, replaces the watch with like a sword. Now. Uh, let's go to the insides of the fish. Oh wait, this is uh, something different. Let's go in the insides of the fish and get that uh, extra life. And after that, uh, we'll go look for the sword. But I think I'm gonna cut out or pause my myself looking for the sword, so that you don't have to see too much of just wandering around. I think I've been pretty good at. Uh, cutting things out this episode, if I say so myself. I pause at the right moments, resume at the right moments. This is where I, what I came here for. Now the question is, when the bat dropped the magnet there, or at least went to pick up that magnet, did it replace it with anything we want? Probably not, because uh, I can only think of a few things that we want at this point. Namely, the sword. And like the green key, but I think the green key is uh, in that treasure chest. Yeah, it's just a bone. So the, the, we saw the bat carrying a bone a lot of times, and now it went and replaced it with uh, the magnet. So anything here? No, still just a toy shovel. Thank you. Big shout out to the yellow crab for uh, haunting a place we, we don't need. Like, thank you very much. Uh, and now the thing is, if the bat replaces that with a sword, it's actually gonna be fine because uh, crabs can't guard a sword, crabs are scared of the sword. No, 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 okay. I could have been damaged there. Crabs are scared of the sword, so uh, we don't need uh, to worry about the sword being guarded by a crab. Thankfully, that's not a thing. Alright, at this point, we are gonna go on our adventure looking for a sword. And it's possible we can't get it still because the bat is still carrying it, but... Uh, it's also possible that it, the bat has now replaced it with something else. So I am going to pause and get back to you when we either see the sword or something else that is worthwhile. Alright, I'm back here and uh, now that we... Well, we don't have the sword. <laughs> I thought that might have happened. I'm like, well, we don't get the sword. The sword's right there. I thought that could have happened. Darn. <laughs> I, w I wanted to test out a theory, but darn, if we have the sword, we might as well go use the sword. Now, I hope that while I'm putting the magnet right here, in the very next place, the, the bat doesn't steal the sword. But I guess I might have jinxed it. Okay, we have the sword. Um, We need to go scare away the red crab now. Ah, darn, I was like... It's possible the sword is here? It's unlikely, because there's so many different locations it could be. But yeah, the sword was here, the bat decided to go and put the sword here. So at this point, we go scare away the red crab, then come back here for the uh, blue key to open that chest, which I basically guarantee you is going to contain the green key. Oh, awesome, the jellyfish has uh, helped me by uh, being out of the way at the right time. I wanted to call them Medusa, because that's what they're called in Russian. But no, they are not Medusa, they don't kill on sight, they, they are completely different people. They're not even humans, they're, but they're people. Alright, um... So let's go scare away the red crab, then a hope, against hope, that while we go get the green, uh, the blue key, the bat doesn't decide to steal our sword, and then the crab is like, oh, the sword is stolen, we can come back here now. But the bat might be busy with something different, so at this point, Let's be as quick as we can be. Uh, but I'm gonna cut this part out, me getting to the blue key. Alright. Uh, we now have the blue key. And question of the ages, is the sword still there? Uh, let's try to get there as fast as possible. Uh, the, last I saw the bat, it was carrying a fishbone. So, it was right after I paused to get the blue key. So, I think it is busy. I think the sword will be there, but it's not a guarantee. 
Yes, good, the sword is there. And even the crab is still there, like, he's, he's running away from the sword because he's scared of the sword, but like, he's still here, and every time I come back here, he's, he's back here and runs away. It's a little funny to think about. Alright, um... Just in case, I'm actually going... Oh, hold on. I'm actually going to bring the sword... Should I? Okay, fine. I don't think there's a need to do that. Alright. 99% it is the green key. What is this? Is this a different kind of sword? Then where's the green... Because we can't really progress without the green key. And I think I left the blue key in that chest. That's actually fine. Uh, it's in the chest so it's safe. And I can still get here with all these different kinds of swords. Is Are the crabs also afraid of this sword? Like, if I... Okay, um... Let's see if I can... Yeah, I can trick them like this. I'll put the sword here. I'll bring my own sword away. Is the crab also scared of this sword? Yes. Wait, but what's the difference? Is there any difference between these two swords? I think they're kind of just the same. But, but, this means that I can... I can drive the crabs away from two locations. Like, I can bring one sword in one place and the other sword in another place and ensure the safety of everything. I think I'll leave this sword here. It's a cooler looking sword. Actually, no, I'm gonna leave the lame sword there. <laughs> Basically just a, just a pocket knife. And then this cool sword, I'll, I'll take with me. Why not? But now this leaves the question of what to do next. Now, I think this is a good time to test out my theory. There is a control panel thingy that I took That will now I, I want to test out and see if it does what I think it might do. I think it's useless, but there is a chance it might do something that would actually help us. So I'm gonna go and get it and then replace it uh, with the sword in my own uh, hometown, and I'll be back once I have that. All right, I have this thing, and uh, I'm, I, I must say I'm a little confused because. I think this is useless. I don't think it's going to do much for us. But if it is in fact useless, I don't know what else to do. Oh, you're carrying the shovel. Okay, whatever. <laughs> That's fine. But the thing is, where's the green key? I was sure it was going to be in that treasure chest. Okay, this is where I wanted to go. There is a thing that's closed off for us. Is it going to open because of this? Is this thing going to help? This is like the only place it could be useful for. It's, there's also creepy music here, so I kind of want to get away from here. Alright, we checked, it does not help. That control panel does not help us. Which brings us to this question, what the heck do we do now? We have the horizontal portal thing, and that's a bit of a cheat. It can help us get into places we usually wouldn't be able to get. But not into treasure chests, and I'm pretty sure not through, uh, not through gates. Actually, let's try it. I'll be back, I'll get the horizontal chest thing, and uh, I'll try to get through the heavenly gate with it. Maybe it will open. But we're getting close to concluding the episode, we've been recording for more than 20 minutes already. So I just thought of something. I went and got some wings, and you can see how we got through here. We, we, you know how to get through here with these wings by now. But can we go here, and then up here? That's how we get this portal. We've flown by it a lot. And that's how we actually get it. Darn, I just didn't realize that. Alright, we need to get it to our home chest. That's actually gonna be useful because... Uh, that means we can teleport immediately to safety. No one can distract us on this side of the portal. And then wherever we go... Uh, we can somewhat quickly get back to it. So I think this is where we'll end the episode. It's been a very, very productive episode. We have gotten a lot of things done, and by the end, we've even gotten to the place that is uh, very common for like story structure, where we got we gotten things that we knew we needed to get. We don't know what to do now. It's like, 
It seems hopeless. And I got an idea, and then I got a different idea, and now we actually have another way to go. So, from here on, I got the portal. I'm not gonna open it until next episode. The next episode might be the final one. It's possible, because we're already so close, I think. I think we're close. We only need a few more artifacts, from what I know. There is one artifact that we need, and I think we can get it through getting the green key. But where the green key is, who knows, I think the portal will have answers for us. Thank you for sticking by me so far. I've actually really enjoyed playing the game, and I actually kind of am glad that I had to start over because of that those first few unsuccessful episodes, because this was very fun to record. I'm sure it was fun for you to watch my emotions. But overall, we're still here, and we're still pretty quickly getting to the end. You're getting to the end even quicker because I'm pausing through the less interesting things, which hopefully made this episode very good for you, even though, for me, I did have some uh, wandering around doing nothing, but I paused through that, so hopefully you are enjoying the things that I'm pausing and the things that I'm leaving in. Please comment on that if you have any uh, suggestions about whether I should pause more or less, or I'm pausing just fine, and uh, see you in the next episode that is promising to be very exciting. Goodbye.